The Gulf's sardine fishery has collapsed four times in the past three decades, and it's putting that industry at risk. Two California researchers suggest in a new study that a better fishery management approach is needed to keep the sardines from permanently crashing. Stanford scientist Alfredo Giron says the overfishing is devastating the sardine population. And we have had four collapses of the sardine fishery in, in the last couple of decades. So our study is basically proving that fishing also has an impact and that if you actually account for it, you can increase the value of the fishery by at least 50%. There are about 100,000 local fishermen who rely on sardines for subsistence, but Scripps Institution of Oceanography researcher Octavio Alberto says commercial fleets are too efficient and their catch is not regulated. He worries the fishery is being overfished, and that is bad for everyone. Really, right now, we have the model, we have the science, but I think the big discussion is in the political arena and the willingness to change the things that we have been doing in in one, in a particular way for the last 30 years. Alberto says the commercial fleet is run by only a handful of companies, and their ships can take up to 3,000 tons of fish a night. The Scripps researcher says catching so many fish when stocks are low can be devastating for a species that may already be suffering from hotter ocean temperatures. Right now, the big discussion is that with all these climatic changes, with all these ecological impacts, if that is the best way to use our sardines or this resource. So not necessarily this fishery needs to disappear, but maybe a huge transformation of how these resources, this fish is needed more than ever. The findings are published in the current edition of the Canadian Journal of the Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.